my superstar artists. Today, we are going to be creating a little art experiment. We are going to be experimenting with color mixing. You're gonna take one color and mix it with another color and bam, it's gonna make something new. I am going to show you the colors we are going to be using for our color mixing experiment. You are going to need yellow. You're going to need some yellow. You are also going to need some blue. You're going to need blue. And you're also going to need red. You're going to need red. These three colors that I have right here, red, yellow, and blue, are your primary colors. These three colors can be used to make a whole bunch of new colors by mixing them together. Today, we are going to be making some color mixing balloons. You are going to be painting some balloons with your primary colors and then figuring out what two of them mixed together makes. Let's get started creating our color mixing experiment. All right, my super duper amazing artist today, you're gonna need a white piece of paper from your art bag. You're gonna need that handy dandy pencil. You're also going to need a watercolor tray and a cup of water with a paintbrush. We are going to be using those primary colors we talked about to make new colors. So to get started, we need to draw some shapes on here. We're going to be drawing three circles right next to each other. We're going to do three sets of those to make nine circles. We are going to start up here. And like I said, we're going to be doing three circles. That one got a little bit big. That's okay. Over here, three more circles. And over here, three more. I drew pretty big because that lets me paint more paint. And I want to do lots of painting today. We are going to be looking at these three circles right here first. We talked about those primary colors. They are red, yellow, and blue. You want to get those little paints wet. You need to wake them up with some water by rubbing your paintbrush around in it like that. Rinse off that brush before you go to the next color and wake that next one up. Now, you are not gonna be using orange, green or purple or brown or black. We are just using red, yellow, and blue. So those are the only ones that need to be woken up. I gotta rub that red around because I'm almost running out of red. All right, I think it's all woken up. It's ready to go. Now, what you're going to do is in your first circle, you're going to be painting red. So I'm gonna get some red on my paintbrush and I'm gonna paint that circle red. That looks perfect. Next, I'm gonna paint that next circle yellow. And now it's time for an experiment. This next circle, you are going to create an experiment. What is going to happen when I mix red and yellow? Any guesses? All right, let's find out. I am first going to paint down some red. And while this puddle is still wet, I'm going to rinse my brush quick and get some yellow on there. If you want to pause the video and put some yellow on that red so you can see the experiment first, stop and paint that yellow on and paint some yellow. What is happening? It's turning orange. You guessed it. 
our experiment when we mixed red and yellow made orange. All right, let's experiment again. This time we are going to paint one circle yellow down here and one circle blue. All right, now, what do you think's gonna happen when we mix yellow and blue? You might know it's gonna make a new color, but do you know what new color? Let's find out. I am going to get some yellow and paint it down here. And then I'm gonna rinse that brush off really good. And while that puddle- If you wanna pause the video and put some blue on that yellow so you can see the experiment first, Go ahead and stop it now. So what? Get some blue. Oh, what color is it making? My experiment tells me that yellow and blue make green. Pretty cool. All right, time for another experiment. We are going to now try blue plus red. What's gonna happen when we mix blue plus red? First, paint one circle red. Rinse that brush off really well. Next, get blue. Paint that circle. And now for the fun part, the experiment. I'm first gonna paint down some red. And next, I'm gonna rinse that brush, but I don't want my puddle. If you wanna pause the video now and put some blue on top of that red so you can see the experiment first, go ahead and pause it now. Hi. Get some blue. What color is this gonna make? Hmm. It's kind of tricky to see. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more red. Oh my gosh, it's happening. It's purple. Our experiment tells us that red plus blue makes purple. You just use three colors, red, yellow, and blue, to make three new colors. These colors are called your secondary colors. Here they are right here. The colors we used for mixing, red, yellow, and blue, they're called your primary colors. If you would like to turn this into a little picture, you could take a crayon and draw some balloon tails on these little circles and tie them with a little bow to make little colorful balloons. This one's just gonna run off the paper, but this one's gonna come down and tie in a little bow. I hope you have fun experimenting with your color mixing. This was practice for next class because next time we are making a big artwork using color mixing by taking two colors mixing them together to make a new color. I hope you had so much fun creating and I can't wait to see your color mixing experiment on Seesaw. Have fun creating! I hope you had so much fun creating your color mixing experiment. I can't wait to see them. Bye guys!